about ready to get started here. I'm Neozar. This is my FTL hard win streak. We are up to 94 wins. Um, and we started the Rock A last time. So we're just going to jump right back into that, I think, here. Um, and start getting settled into where the ship's at. So we should be Sector 6 in a Slug Sector, I believe. Slug Homeworlds, possibly. I don't think so. I think just regular Slug. Slug, yeah. I always say heads like you come on, it's like big flashing red. It's like actually hole's you know, hole's all right. We're in the green at least. It's you know the below seventy five percent, but we don't like thinking about it that way. Um, so in some ways we're doing really good. We have all of our systems. We have a good enough weapons loadout. It's not you know amazing, but it should be serviceable. Um, not a ton of crew. We just picked up one NG. No augments or anything. Nothing to sell right now. Not much scrap. All right, and resources, not like amazing. You know, drum parts is the best one probably um, to use them the slowest. You know, this is, this is okay. Um, especially for Sector 6, this can start being a little bit lower sometimes. Uh, it's, it's kind of weird looking, you know, it's kind of slug shaped, slug nebula here again. Um, then all the non nebula jumps are like right here. Fortunately, the exit also is like the only non nebula jump that's over here. Um, so it's not as easy to dive, but it's not really set up for diving anyway, so not a big deal. Now it's like, there's a chance there's one store in one of these five jumps, um, but we don't really need stores, but besides not even having scrap, it's right now, we much more need to spend scrap on our ship. Um, considering we're in sector six, and for like scrap investment in the ship, we did 15 to shields. 15 into engines, um, 85 into weapons, and then whatever amount of power, you know, probably like 100 into power or something, 110. Um, you know, and obviously we spent money on items and systems and all that stuff, but like for actual like upgrades, it's pretty low scrap into the ship for this late in the run um, because we've spent it on all the things. Uh, which I think is like the correct way to do it, but it puts us in a spot where like the next few jumps are actually like pretty important. Um, hey, Crow. Because like we'll start, we're just going to start spending scrap on ourselves like every single jump practically, I think. Uh, unlike the rest of the run where we've just been floating the entire time. Um, so it's like kind of important. If we get, you know, we want to, like, just earn a little bit of scrap first, hopefully. That's a little bit easy before we find, like, the worst jumps of the sector. But we'll get by. Um, honestly, I might buy, if I if it works out, I might buy oxygen first. I just can't help but buy oxygen upgrades in slug sectors. I feel really hypocritical doing it. Because it's, like, the only blue option I chase, really, besides, like, maybe Kazakh on a boarding ship. But... Feel the value in it. I feel it. See, here it is, right here. This is the first. This is one of them. This is honestly the one that it can be worse sometimes. Um. So the tricky thing here is, like, 
I don't know what their ship is like. If I choose oxygen, there's a chance it's like, well, I can kill them, but it's going to take me like a while and I'm going to run out. If I choose hacking, um, there's a chance like, oh, they're like really hard to kill or really dangerous because I can't hack. Um, often I would choose oxygen. This chance I'm going to choose hacking because like if the fight is dangerous, I'd rather have a better chance of like surviving. I don't know. I feel like if it's bad with the oxygen and then if they're like hitting my piloting or something, I get unlucky that way. Like there's a chance it could go bad um, versus this. Like if I have to just like run from the fight in the end, that's okay. Like, you know, we can try and small bomb their weapons and we can cloak and then run. Like if we can't kill them because of that. So yeah, my control beams, weapons, um, it's really like the ion here. If we had three shields, this would be like a pretty safe fight. Um, two shields, it's not quite as safe. So we can do that with that. Um, I kind of think that the, as much as I love having hacking, that was kind of the right choice here. Um, cause we can take this fight and it'll be safe and slow versus like, if we had hacking, sure, it'd be a little faster, but probably still wouldn't be that fast. They have so much hull. Like, our weapons aren't that amazing. Um, and we'd be, like, on the clock with the oxygen to kill them quick. Yeah, hacking their we weapons if I need to run. Well, I feel like that makes me go into it, though, being like, okay, I'm running from the start, unless they're really, really easy. And I want to kind of leave it open, like, I can probably kill them. How hard is it going to be to kill them? Like, and this gives me like a little bit, I feel like this choice gives me a little bit of flexibility between if they're like a little too hard to kill, like that's okay. And I can still like run all right. Cause I have cloaking and stuff. Um, if they're not too hard to kill, I can like take my time doing it and it's fine. Um, I feel like I also remembered that. Well, I didn't have the small bomb before. Um, I had a number of fights that were like a bit slow, for sure. Um, but it might also be just like a fear option of being like, oh, well, I only have four crew and things go bad, like they're gonna suffocate and I'm gonna lose, so. Um, yeah, I'm never quite sure where it's the fear options, where it's not, probably just, Cloak these. I guess we can see. Could dodge one. Cause I guess I kind of want to shoot right now. Well, what do I want to shoot? Also, because I'm gonna. This is my hacking, right? I'm gonna hit piloting or something, or shields with it first. Probably piloting's the best. I think I'm probably be kind of aggressive and shoot shields first. Hopefully this hits. Um, can't decide if I want to cloak this or not. I mean, it's like I'm going to be safe for this first volley here. I don't know how these two time, but that's not as big a deal. These will time together if this will be too slow. At this point, I'm just going to wait for the uh, last shot. All right, now here's where we're going to cloak this shot and the ion that's coming at us. For sure. Oh yeah, see that's this would time a little bit here. Nice. Okay. Then I'll bring this back online hopefully. Hey Badger. Came in, this is my first fight. Um 
it's the one where it's the oxygen hack, but you, like you choose if it's weapons or shields or oxygen or whatever. And I just chose to like counter hack it, um, which is working out so far because it's pretty easy shit. Forces me to save a hacking drone. Let's say, let's say that's what it is. Um, have it piling back online. But I think I want to hit this if we can. No. All right, I don't really want to use any more bombs if I can avoid it. This might hit me. We should probably be in here. Should definitely be in there. Yeah. I'm just realizing what that timing was. That's unfortunate. This is gonna hurt. Probably. I and mean, there's a chance it's like two damage, but. Oof, that's a rough one. Um, do I want to go? I mean, it's gonna be three, maybe four. Man, is that gonna be? I feel like that's gonna be pretty long. How long is that? Oh no, that should just be three. Okay. Because it's from the middle of a big room across. Um, that's convenient that I have a pipe beam to check that out on. <laughs> just trying to think of what order I wanna do this in. I mean, one shield is like bad now versus these weapons, but then we're also gonna have our cloak drop. Um, I mean, I'm definitely going to just use another bomb here, right? I guess I can fire these first once if I want. Because, uh, this is down. Let me get the shields back online first. It's like this is cooling down for a moment anyways. Alright, piling's broken, so this should hit fine. Um, do we use one more bomb? No, I think we need a light over there. Those are the beams down. Nope, swapping up. That's kind of okay. If the ion down is the best, really. Great. I love getting that in right before a battery ramp. Right? That's always the best. All right. Ah, look, everything's fixed again. <laughs> so many slug crew. Um, charge is such like not an ideal weapon. I mean, I have cloaking up again for the next like volley. That's a problem. Battery's almost up. I am switching battery. Nice. This is charging up to three, so I can actually just like. Get rid of that. I guess it's like I it probably should have been using the pike beam here. It's probably what it is. Well, whatever. I'll do one more behind like this. I guess just do this to keep it safer for a moment. I 
Like, I can get hit by one of those, but I really don't want to get hit by more than one. Silly ship. Yeah, there's no way we can get more than four. I guess it's like we really want piloting now, right? Do we really want piloting? Does that super matter? Because like you want shields and weapons too. Um. They don't run at least. Cloak will be up. Our cloak's up now. That's great. Right. So that should be it. Three damage from this fight. It's not so bad. Assuming nothing else terrible happens, I guess. Because I could never land a shot again. Should be good with that. There we go. 51 scrap. Wow. That's great. Um, Alright, now that I've got like a ton of scrap from that. I'm like, well, do I need to get the oxygen now? <laughs> There's the other oxygen hack event. Do I want hacking first? I mean, if I had my hack for that fight, it would have been way easier. Just level one hacking. I'm not sure if that's, I feel like that's probably wrong, but. That's just what I'm doing, apparently. Feeling it. I mean, it's probably not like entirely crucial, but. Um, no, I'm not gonna do the mind control thing. Only two shields, that's nice. So just these two weapons, all right, it's not so bad. See what cloaking they have. So with just with just these weapons that like if we disable if we do one damage on them we're safe. Um, and then two shields. I feel like we can get away with a weapons hack on this fight. Yeah, that's what I thought. They have level 3 cloak. It's like their ship seems kind of weak in other ways, so it makes sense. Um, so here we just do this right. I mean, maybe we should have done it faster before this thing fired. I don't know if we could have. I think it fires instantly, too. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I just want to do a weapons hack. So that first one, if it hit us, that would the halberd still could do damage because it'll drop the shields. So this lets us like split them whenever they want to fire for the most part. Um, cloak makes that a little trickier, but it's value for sure. Um, I want 
do this. I control on everything. the one human at least, right? Did we close? Yep, they got him. Nice. Good job. Such a long cloak. I'll just let you out. I'm not going to shoot you before then. Honestly, at this point, I could probably just wait out the mind control so I can hit them. Um, he's probably going into engines. So there's probably three crew right now. So mind control is all in. Anyone else coming? Yeah, oh, there's some antics. That's exciting. Oh man, they're gonna wreck the Zoltan. Whatever, I'll just shoot them all out of there. Boom. Ooh, down to just, just the Mantis now, I think. That's ideal. Definitely ideal. And we didn't use any bombs, so that's nice. They're using a few extra last fight. Nice two shield ship. Alright. So let's see, what do we need? Hit him three times? Oh, we'll just hit him with a full volley and see what happens. No, no he's done. No evasion. Alright. 62. Um, I mean, it's like I want to get shields up really soon, honestly, is part of it, but there is value to doing the hack. It gives me a little flexibility with the pike beam stuff. Part of me wants to just get like a shields buffer, honestly. Part of me wants to just float scrap again already. Um... Yeah, I mean, I feel like buying the upgrade for this is really about switching to using the pike beam and hacking shields. Which I feel like I just don't need, like if I start running lower on bombs or something, I feel like maybe, but. So it's like, I kind of feel like I want shields next. Do I buy a buffer for it? Um, these are 22. Yeah, I'm kind of okay on a buffer in Sector 6. So glad I found that NG. Alright, so we attack. Um, mostly the big missile, but also the mini beam. Three shields. Not going to be many crew on this ship, though. Probably just three. Um... I still kind of feel like we just hack weapons here. Because it's like this thing's slow. And we have cloaking, so we can avoid for quite a while between the, the hack and cloaking. And I don't know if we're quite fast enough to take it offline otherwise. Like if we do an invasion hack on this one with these weapons. Um, 
there's a chance we do a shield sack. And it was level two, level two hacking. We could do it if we land all our shots. Uh, that's, I kind of want to get a crew kill. Be greedy also. Small ship. Ah, oh, slug. That's too bad. Hopefully they have one at least that's not a slug so we can mind control them. They don't have the manning bonus because of that, but still, this must be. I don't think this is like a Hermes, I think it's something bigger, um, which is kind of good. Um, honestly, uh, right now, if we get this damage in before, like they'll probably take this down first. You know, does it matter about dodging these shots? Um. I guess. Double fires. Um, and then we can cloak the missile. I feel like it's better than pre cloak. Like, there's a chance we could pre cloak it and it'll burn down in time or something. Um, but I don't totally trust that. <laughs> right yeah I mean to guarantee this goes down two bars in that time that doesn't seem good all right great it's the I can't remember that's the breach missile I think I love how they do that, like they switch around what doors they're trying to break and stuff. I see broke piloting for me. Lauren's, Lauren's dead. Sorry, Lauren. Oh, and went into four, so now, now they're splitting up. <laughs> oh, Fleishy, you can't decide what, what you want to do here. Looks like some people are doing stuff in here. Going between here and here some, it seems. I think one's in here again. Right now they're running into engines. Hey, look at that. Burst laser. That's interesting. That's probably working a bull with what we got going on. Um, somehow. I mean, it's kind of awkward because we kind of like need these shots. 
I mean, it's like it kind of works in like this. <laughs> With another weapon power, though. Honestly, I might keep it out for now. Um, but there's a decent chance it'll get worked in at some point. Even if it's temporary or back and forth, I don't know. Alright, so that was nice. You got a crew kill there, no damage. That's a dead end. Go up here. Yeah. There's a chance we'll go to a store if one of those is a store. I mean, we still know there's one more, or two stores, sorry, um, through this whole part. Uh, Alright, so I think we just take a jump here. I don't have enough for shields yet. I could buy the hacking, but. Yeah, it's an empty one. Mantis ship. Alright. Two shields, a missile, and a laser. Is this like the ships we were fighting in Sector 3? He was like, ah, he was safe, but they got a missile. And they got two shields, a mantis ship. So apparently it's still here in Sector 6. It's nothing in the late sectors. It's like you can still get the same ships almost. I mean, they're usually better in other ways, but that you can't see or something. Um, but, like, there's just so much variance later and later where you can get crazy deadly ships, but you can get, like, surprisingly easy ships, too. Where I feel like Sector 3, 4, it just feels... So, like, some of them, I guess, are still really easy, but it just feels so brutal sometimes. You get the same, like, really bad ships. Um, it's just, you know... can roll those really bad late sectors, though. It's all kind of RNG in the end with that, with enemy strength. Um, so two shield, I think we just do a weapons hack here again. Okay, so where are they coming in on? Just the one, huh? Um, whatever, everyone else is so slow, and you can go punch them, it's fine. <laughs> Guess it's piloting because it's like then I can also, you know, if it if it hit, only the small bomb hits, I'd rather just hit piloting because then the other stuff will hit. And if it misses, it doesn't really matter what I target. And kind of do the same thing again here. So I, I haven't really done this specific strategy very often, but I guess it's because it's like the Nebula sector with like a wan evasion hacking. And I have the small bomb, but it's kind of interesting, I think. All right, and then so these all hit and take all their weapons offline. Perfect. Let's switch up quick. All right, so he's at 16, I think, right? So he won't be too hard to kill. I'm not sure if any of them will feel healthy enough to board at this point. But we can see. And then we can start killing them in here and stuff and break the clone bay. Yeah, I don't think any of them feel healthy enough. Um, but I think I'm going to wait for mind control. Obviously they have a high level oxygen system because doesn't seem to be losing oxygen at all. Oh, you see that? Because he wanted to come in to repair and he wanted to leave because the fight was over. And it didn't matter. Totally timed out okay. Because um, he was like a tile away. That was like a really nice door timing. And it worked out great. Slammed it right in the mantis's face. Come on, Engie, that was rude. Um, so I want to get two damage on here and then two in here, I guess. 
Just do it this way. Ah, uh, they have like a higher level piloting. Um, do we use a bomb? No, we just make it take a little longer. I don't do too much damage to their ship. I'm gonna use one of the bombs here to make it happen. And how long is this gonna be? They're probably gonna get one. I hope for the best. Hope it hits in time. It does. Hey, we get a mantis. Not as much scrap, but we could use another crew member. Let's be honest. Alright. Um, I can start out on shields. Honestly, it's fine. Yeah, fight training already great. Alright, so this select sector is going good so far. Um, making scrap, catching up. So I haven't seen a store, which is like, I'm kind of fine with that at this point, but earlier in the run it would have been really bad. Um, like I still really would like to find like at least one so I can like repair. Hopefully they're not both here because I don't really want to have to go down that way. I'm going to try and go up this way first. Let me see how many jumps I have because like maybe I just want to jump into the out of the nebula spots or whatever. Um, if I do nebula I have like nine which is more than I can get right. Now like six. So I can, I can get like these six nebula jumps and like two of these maybe. I don't know. But I can definitely go up this way first because if that's a store or something I'll go there whatever. Um, I guess I could have bought shields three but I'm also like well hopefully I'll find a store and a jump so repair of course find the rigor this is why i'm staying in the nebula honestly i feel like nebula jumps are so much better in slug nebulas than out of the nebula um all right ion intruder these guys this guy these rigor ships are such a pain to figure out like what do i want to do to you <laughs> if you have like a system repair bot or anything. No, that's good, that's great. So just the ion intruder, kind of interesting. Um, the pilot and try to get a little lucky with my shots which seems really dumb probably but hopefully like, I think the timing might work out okay on that but we'll see Hey, All Star. Run's looking rocky. Yeah, well, it's looking rocky. Eh? Um, it's been pretty all right. I just picked it up again at the start of Sector Six tonight. Um, it's been a pretty good Sector Six. We got like everything we need. We just need more scrap, really. Right. I want you to run that. You might not make it out of time, but you can try. I want you to run there so I can mind control the thought there. Cause we ain't dodging. Um, and I'm assuming that's probably like an Artemis, right? Three, one, two, yeah, that's an Artemis for sure.
So we get 60% chance of dodge. It's not terrible. Oh, of course. Uh, time the heavy laser a little too late. So the guy made it into piloting, so he dodged just that. And so Artemis stays up, that's too bad. Oh, that's good though. Phew, and got him down just in time. Um. So we're running low on bombs here, so I don't really want to use a bomb if I can avoid it. I think hacking is up in time to hack this again before it goes off. Guess we'll find out. Yeah, it's fine. Ah, oh, they kill him, come on. But this one is just like hope, because my control's not up. like this fight. Hacking weapons is probably greedy. Um, probably should try to like small bomb uh, piloting there first. I guess I'm gonna I actually do this. Let's, there we go. Nice. Oh, you're gonna break my uh, mind control. That's annoying. Rock, you made it just not in time. Oh, it's trying to go into a cloaking, that's what it's doing. It's like, what is it doing there? Oh, look at that volley, that was a crazy... Okay, so yeah, I think I kind of figured out how these work a little bit. I think if they have, if they hit a door, if they like go into the motion to like have to fight a door, then when they get into the next room, they use their attack immediately. Because there's that one time I had one that like, for a split second thought it had to break a door, like started moving into the animation and then my guy left doors. Um, and it then like I and my weapons like, two seconds after it ironed the room before because of that. And I can see that's like this went right into it after having to like break down a door. So I think that's their deal. Um, like I wouldn't be surprised if there's other rules involved as well, but. Cool. again each time as he's about to uh, do his thing. Um, no. I've got you hurt enough at this point. I think I can not accept surrender and be okay. Interesting how oxygen is like it's just taking a long time, I guess, to overcome the breach in here because the oxygen in the ship was low already. Um. 
I'm not trying that hard to get a crew kill here. That's okay. I could use bombs and stuff, but I only have three bombs. Um, but that's all right, too. <laughs> hey, two more bombs and 41 scrap. I don't think I actually took damage from that fight. It felt like it was a bad fight, but I don't think... I mean, I used... I guess I used more bombs than I wanted, but I don't think I took any damage. All right, let's... Fix the breach. All right, so there's the story. Probably take the distress first. chance we'd like working a little bit more of a jump, but um engage the slug ship. Okay. That was an exciting uh event. I don't think that was the like demand they settled the debt one though. Not sure what that was. So I'm seeing if we have six nebula jumps. Yeah, that'll be that'll be perfect. Go to store first. Um let's see. Alright, we don't need crew anymore, because we got five crew, that's good enough. Don't need any of these things. Don't need a clone bay. Um we do need all those. I don't really want to buy bombs, honestly. I don't really want to sell this yet either though, but maybe I do. Slow down to 12 fuel. Maybe check if there's another store. It's like just not that important right now. Um I mean, this is an eight power. I mean, I'm not even positive it'll get up to eight power for flagship. But that's like what I want to go into. I guess I could sell this and buy another weapon power. Go up to six, which lets me do that, right? So I only have five bombs left. I don't want to like be counting on finding, like, cause there's a chance I don't see another store for the rest of the run. My last run, I think I didn't see, I couldn't find the Sector 7 store or the Sector 8 store, and it was fine that run also, um, but it's like something to plan around. So I don't be like, well, I can definitely sell it next sector or something, because I might not be able to if you only have one store or something, I can't get to it. And it's like with five bombs, like I'm not planning on using this the whole time now that I have this instead. So I'm just gonna do that, but since I don't have that, I like really want that. Um, and then it's just like, obviously I need power, I need to finish my third shield bubble, hacking, engines four. But this is pretty, this is much stronger weapon load now with the burst laser added in. I don't have to worry about using up the bombs or anything. Because like if I could just spam the bombs freely, that would have been great. Um... This is worth following them because we can, if we have to miss a jump or whatever, that's okay. All right, so just a fight. So I don't think this is, I don't think we got the like double jump thing or whatever. Oh, double boarding drones. Ugh. But their defenses are pretty crappy. Um. Just want to like hack their drones. I think we do this though, so make sure their weapons don't get us like with a sink. Right. 
good. Doors, oxygen. I mean, there's things about this that are obnoxious for sure. But, ooh, going right into oxygen, trying to choke me out here. Get my last seconds of it in. I just saw that go down that the ion drone is chilling then. Yeah. Like it's kind of obnoxious because he's still in here. So like punching this dude down is like more of a pain. But it's alright. So either there's a fire in there or they only have three crew. I feel like it's more likely that there's a fire because he's trying to get out. Um which makes me want to do this also now. Yeah, now, now the engine's guy's going up there. I feel like there's a decent chance there's a fire in there. Right, so that's firing. We split their weapons. Don't need to dodge or anything. It's fine. That's definitely a fire. Right. I mean, the thing with this is that it's also like we have a little bit of a buffer because we can take one damage there and be okay. I feel like there's a chance they were at like one shot from dead. But fire got out of hand, I think. I mean, I was also just like blasting him with a heavy laser. That feels so much better though. It's like it feels like, oh, well, it's not great because this is like awkward how times, but it's just like it just doesn't matter that like it's inefficient. Like, that's completely irrelevant to, like, what it's doing for me right now. It's like, so what if it's worse than the burst laser? You just time it together still, and it's a great volley. And then you have the option to charge it up if it makes sense at that time, or to do it one-off if it's, like, a zone shield. It's not the best, but it gets the job done. Yeah, charge who can definitely do work. Like, it can definitely fail you somewhat at times and be kind of awkward and bad. Find a power bar here. I'll get my shields up eventually. I, mean, I haven't really taken very much. I think I've taken like three damage this sector. So obviously two shields and three engines can get you by. Hail them. Hey, because I talked about it. It's like, okay, synced burst laser ones and a glaive beam. And cloak. Here's the ships I thought I was gonna find like every jump. It's pirate ship though, so that's good. It's not slug. Um, and there's only a level one cloak also. Um, so here my pilot hack actually and split this up. control you but that's fine I'm just figuring like um I can go 
five damage through to their weapons, which should definitely disable that because they need a buffer point for it to not. And I think it should all time okay. Um, so it's like here's a point where I feel like the evasion hack makes a lot of sense. And then it's like if they, you know, assuming they don't have a buffer point, which would be pretty surprised if they do, it also, it'll take off, at, you know, at least the glaive and this, if not all three, because they'll be done with how they power their weapons. If they had a long enough cloak, it might not have timed out with getting the charge all the way up. But this should be okay. They just have that up and it's safe until they can do repairs. You swap to it over a burst too because you want shots. Yeah, I mean, I could see times where it's like that's what you need. It happens. I definitely feel bad about it. It'd make a lot more sense also on a, was it on a three weapon ship? Lost the crew cloning the clone bay, but then they instantly spawned. Oh, I guess it took me a minute to figure out what you're trying to say there. So they were like still in the clone bay and then you did like the distress event and you failed it. So they died and respawned. And so it popped. I thought you said the, the when you put out the fire thing, you meant like the clone bay broke and then a crew member popped out of the broken clone bay. Um, but I see what you're saying now that it was like it was about to pop out, but then, he, you know, you saved yourself two seconds. I figured you out. Um, mind control. Resist. Alright, so we just wait for this hack to come up. Because, why not? I love a good volley. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Oh, I didn't even mean to hit that. Well, that's all right, I guess. Not looking good for those guys. Crap. I wasn't going to bother trying to get a crew kill on that. I mean, I didn't even pay attention to that. A clone bay or med bay, I guess. Um, they usually have so many crew. It's like they often have seven crew at this point. Um, I'm still like so. It's like, does this shield bubble even help me with this low in power? I mean, it totally does. I guess I haven't seen that. If that's like a force store, I want to use all my jumps. Check that out first. Um, that's a lot of lasers. And mind control and cloaking. So your evasion probably sucks too, and only two shields. As long as it's a short cloak. That's like what'll cause this fight to be a little grosser is if it's a long cloak. Level one, that's perfect. Um, so we're just uh, definitely doing that right in the weapons, right in the middle there. And 
this will be a four shot volley if this fires, if this doesn't fire. So we gotta just see what happens. All right, so that's a safe volley then at the moment. this now. I really wish I had reloaders. <laughs> ah, that he missed. For a second I was like, wait, how are they powering everything? Because this looks like it's still on, kind of. It doesn't have the bar because it's not on because it's like still has its charge for a few seconds and I'm like wait a second <laughs> how many buffer points do they have um probably stuff cloak so well so this is just gonna hit nothing it's gonna hit shields right, cloak in a moment did it. It's like those things just happen on the slug ship sometimes. Like with those layouts, it's such a great room to hack. The weapons is right in the middle of everything. Just make them run around and they just sit and fire. Alright, there's no store there. I need to buy a shield bubble and like a power bar. Just like, no reason not to at this point. Definitely looking a lot better than we were at the beginning of the sector. Three shields, more weapon power, better weapon, another crew member. Use more drone parts still. Well, that's a fun, fun little end of the sector there. This might be something, it's not in the nebula. Hey, it's nothing really. All right, nice quick end of the sector. Rock home worlds. All right, it's not abandoned. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's like you can, like, that could have been just like a, a bad sector. We didn't need to die, but we could have just gotten really low scrap or had to spend it all on repairs or something dumb. All right, so there's one store. That's cool. I can go there for like drone parts. Trying to think of how fast I want to go there. That's probably fine if I do two first. Got nothing to sell right now. Yeah. I know Sector 7 Rock Homeworlds also. It's too bad. I never saw the, uh, I don't think I saw the dense asteroid field at all. With or without the plating. I held it onto the plating for like a sector and a half too, which is pretty long. Um, what do I want here? I can't even remember what this thing is. The lone human or whatever. Let's 
single life form on the moon. So yeah, we either get Charlie with a skill, or it's either high medium scrap or 10 repair. I mean, it's like I want the scrap the most, but the repair the least. <laughs> um, honestly, I could take another, I'll take another crew member. For the skill. Is that right? Do I really need another crew member? Scrap will help me a lot more, probably. Hmm. Do we want Charlie or not? Well, what do we need for scraps, though? I mean, we want... This is my... That shield is quite a chunk, plus hacking. Um, if we get the repair, how bad is that? I mean, it's kind of a waste. There's a decent chance we don't need any of it. Um... I don't know. I'll take him. I think it's okay. I mean, it's like, well, it's like, it just, I guess it's like, if this doesn't really matter, then it doesn't really matter if we waste the repair also, and then we get scrap on top of it. If we don't, you know, two out of three chance we get scrap. I mean, it's a, I guess it's like, I, well, part of me feels like, well, the crew member's a waste because this is totally fine, you know, it's like, but this can still help. Um, saves me micro I guess is, is that what I'm like just trying to do is not the micro as much I'd rather sit here and be indecisive instead of micro um yeah I'll take Charlie welcome board Charlie probably suboptimal choice but I can make some of those and get away with it all right um so you're gonna switch around with Vincent I guess with that store, also should have done that, but like, would have helped I got the scrap anyways. Alright, so, we're gonna just buy some drone parts, I guess. Thank god there's no reloader. Would have been sad. Would have like sold something for it. Um, Alright, so this is a crappy start to the sector, but, we can figure this out still. All right, this is great that we don't use the small bomb anymore, and we've got 10 missiles, that's 30 scrap. I mean, it's still kind of like a low amount of scrap to get for a jump in Sector 7 at this point, but... Early exit, too, man. Only five jumps left. Oh, this is a free weapon. Maybe we don't super need a free weapon, but there's a chance we'll have another store or something. Um, they got big fat weapons too, don't they? But we kind of split their ship up. does with the with five crew or whatever or I mean there's a bunch of different crew numbers it does it with where they run in and out of weapons um whatever you can do there it's fine quite yet.
Oh, there we go, there's a fire. Here at the clone base, what's gonna happen? Whatever. Just have you guys all fight in there instead. Fun. Or brawl. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Forgot what this was. Let them live and then return to the settlement. Pegasus and 50 scrap. Um, so obviously, we're not gonna use the Pegasus <laughs> if we even had any missiles. 50 scrap is great though. And Pegasus sells well if we get a chance to do that. Um. Really hard to say what I want to do with upgrades right now. Lasting ion, good laser, double fast missiles, cloaking, boarding, three shields, astro field. Got it. Let's see what we can do. That's like, all right, that's what. I, can't be that long a cloak. Um. Oh, you gotta hack their weapons here. Should be able to cloak both of their missiles at least too. Yeah. significant at all. Neither of them are fully trained. Oh, the timing on that. Hit battery. Look at that. And it took Coco out of line. Is that empty room or is that piloting? That's piloting.
and we can't dodge it all. So, I mean, one of those is gonna hit us. That's fine then, I guess. What else can we do? Right, so actually two because of that thing now. Um, oh, they're gonna cloak again now. That's right, I can't fire again. It's so tempting to do it right here because of like, this stuff that they're like about to cloak again. Am I forgetting that they cloaked a second time already? Um, because I feel like they should have done it again by now. Because I thought I did like a 10 second fire. Yeah, okay, there we go. It's like, it's got to be coming. It's like, I, I maybe could have gotten that volley in. I don't know. At least I'll be able to have evasion. going hacking, which would kind of suck, I guess. Whatever, we'll see what happens. That's going to be too slow. That's a miss. That's awesome. Dodge the Artemis. Oh, dodge them both. So good. Oh, and you got the skill up, pilot. Awesome job. Awesome job, everyone. Very proud of that, Volley. Oh, look, look at that. It's okay, Heavy Laser. Everyone else is, is working hard, so, you know, we all make mistakes. Double fires in the weapons room. I like that. Fix the battery, please. Oh, my first laser's still off. Whoops. Right. Both the missiles are down now. Oh, 
All right. It's so nice having them fight in there, and it's just like up. Oh. And you can't fight the fire, and it's just going to burn down. See, I'm not going to try too hard to get a crew kill against a bunch of rocks in this asteroid field. Um, but there's a very small chance it just happens. They have way too much life in there. I'm okay with that, because that was a gross fight. Honestly, it went pretty well in the end. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. For a moment, I was feeling like it was going to be really, real bad. Um, after that thing with the missiles hitting the battery right before the other missile hit, and then getting my piloting hit to him, but all worked out in the end. Yeah, that definitely could have been really gross, that fight. Um, but it was like, you know, I got one bad volley and one good volley. That worked out. Um, store. I mean, I'll go there to sell the Pegasus, I guess. I got three jumps before the exit. I'd probably just do like one, two, three, right? I can take two before the store, three before the exit, yeah. I think that's just what I'd do. I think it's worth going there to sell the Pegasus, possibly like buy drone parts or something. Right, now that we're on the asteroid field, go heal. So definitely been a lower scrap sector than I'd hoped. Um, but that's all right. It's like, you know, ideally we'll make some of this up next sector. If we don't, we could be in for a bit of a rough flagship here. Could be regretting Charlie. Hey, a pike beam. Okay. That's interesting. Go double pike. And another burst laser. First things first, we're selling Pegasus. That's just like, no doubt about that. We're not buying anything else here except for possibly drone parts. Um, and we gotta sell something. Like, there's one place where I, I could do this, which I don't, isn't how I like to play, but it's one weapon power cheaper. I mean, I gotta do, I gotta do shield hacks, though. That's all shield hacks. Um, like pike swipes. And the main reason I'd be doing that is just to save the scrap on the weapon power. And then this also sells for eight more, which is nice. Um... It's like I so much prefer this loadout for sure. But like that's not ideal for that. Like if I if I can't get eight weapon power. And I feel like, you know, I I really want four shields and engines four and hacking three. You know, and then I'll need the power for everything too. I can't really guarantee I'm gonna get enough scrap the next sector from that for everything. Yeah, it's like I'm still looking at like a few hundred scrap that I want to get. And it's like, you know, I can get another 300 scrap next sector, but I might not. Four power halberd, yeah. Hey, Thomas. Um, yeah, it's just like, just my store before sector eight here. Right before it found a free pike beam. So it's like, kind of think that's what I, I pivot into. It's also one second faster than a halberd. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, it's like I don't think I can bet on getting eight weapon power up and like not having to sacrifice too much of my defenses and other systems. Cause it's not like this is like an incredible like, powerful weapon system that will just like decimate. Um, so I think I do this. And then I buy that and that. I definitely gotta get that. And then I buy like some drone parts. Yeah, and then just, you know, two volleys, and it's dead each time. Um, it's not so bad. Yeah, I think this is the, the play to go. It's like I save, you know, get more scrap selling this. I save scrap, not having to go up to weapons eight. Um, I don't need fuel, I don't need missiles, I don't need repair. I think I buy all those in case I can't get more next sector. I mean, it's like I need hacking three, honestly, but. Yeah, I need a bunch of power. But this is, this is a system for sure. Highest efficiency, oh god. Highest efficiency is to win. It's more efficient. It's more pragmatic. It's that thing. It's like I the school of pragmatism over efficiency. It doesn't matter how efficient it is. I have a lot of very inefficient runs and very sloppy ends. Um so here we don't mind control because that forces a store and this could get a scrap. Hey look, we just found a store with no scrap. I don't think I buy any more drone parts. Like I could, I could use more, sure, but I need scrap. Okay, cool. So good sector six, not so great sector seven. I have sector eight. Well, that's scrap drone parts. So I'll go there first, and hopefully we'll get some fights before the. Uh, Flagship. All right, bunch of resources. Just thinking about like, okay, what do I need? Like more than anything for flagship at this point. I mean, that's like I need some power. Honestly, I need hacking three. Um, I mean, I really, really, really want these. <laughs> Like one of those at least in, in that. I mean, hopefully we, it's like, you know, we just gotta hope we get the good double jump fight or whatever. I think you can go up this way. Definitely not buying a slave. We're definitely attacking you. Of course you have four shields and a big fat missile. <laughs> um, but it's like we still just do a shield hack and we just have to time the burst laser and mind control. It's a little trickier for sure. Not ideal fight. Not a great ship to swipe on either. But we need to scrap from it. And we also possibly take a repair beacon next. delay them boarding sure I mean it doesn't hurt honestly I don't, I'm not sure I see the reason why not to
to play it slightly safe. Give myself a little extra buffer time, more than I need, I think. Probably at level one, I'll break it or something. Um, these all hit to get through their shields. Thing. I knew switching to this loadout, like, honestly, I was more worried about the fights in Sector 8 than the flagship with this loadout, because it's, it's, like, sort of pike beam isn't always, like, so amazing. hit one of them too. 66 scrap. All right, that's what I want to see. A bunch of scrap. All right. So I probably, probably won't go to the repair because they're usually like low scrap, I think. And it's like, while well, we can get an empty jump, I think it's worth like the risk trying to get something more than that. 
Like, we need this more than anything, honestly. It's like, got the battery, I guess. I need like real power also. Um, let me do that. Missiles, boarding, three shields, so that's nice. Um, could do an evasion hack, <laughs> be pretty bad here. Um, yeah, and then we gotta do a shield hack. It's just like it's what I built into here. It's okay. Goofy guy runs in and out of weapons for a minute there. Yeah, you do your thing. take this lead out then risk like having to take this missile because I'm not confident enough I'm gonna like definitely get their uh, weapons damage enough from this obviously I'm not gonna one shot him You. We don't need that power there, actually. Yeah. If I did that so it didn't take it out of a hack or something, that would have been the problem. One damage is fine. Shoot it. Weapons are almost burned down, that's good. Alright. That's hitting us. Whatever. Two damage, can't help it.
Damage sucks, but 30 scrap, not a deal. I really want to go to the store. The part of me wants to like run to that repair. Not even just because of the two hole, but because like the guaranteed scrap on top of it and stuff, but I feel like it's too much of a risk. Because then it's like we might have to like double dive back to the thing. Flagship, whatever. You guys are fine. Yeah, it's definitely a low scrap run. Not a ton of free stuff, I feel like, is part of it, like, to put back into, like, you know, buying and selling to buy stuff. Just trying to think about, like, I feel like probably Engines 4 is like the next upgrade I get. I mean, there's a chance I can still get shields. I mean, one jump can get me like shields 4 if it was like the crazy double rewards. Hacking, ugh, gross. Hacking my med bay. All right, thank you. That's generous. I think that should be med bay at least. I'm not sure. These, I feel like, should come in from the sides or directly on it. Um, all right, so super shield too, yuck. I'm probably not going to, uh, I was gonna mind control this guy, but now it's like, well, these are gonna hit no matter what, so, um, need to hit shields twice to bring it down, it doesn't feel worthwhile, I hate when the weapons is in this room, it's like, you're locked into, like, these swipes if you want to do the most damage, I mean, how much hull do they have, I mean, I'm not gonna two-shot them for sure, I mean, one shot him. Ten. I could definitely two shot him. Sixteen. Um, I mean, so it's kind of okay if I do lower damage swipes on the first one, I guess. I guess the repair bot's gonna go crazy too if I don't like damage a bunch of systems at least. Once. Like, I control the weapons guy. 
Nice, level one piloting. That's good. Lido offline. Snuck in because we did the long hack. And I guess the shield drone got either turned off, like out of sight, or um, we blew it up. I don't know. I guess we blew it up. There it is. Yeah, we blew it up. Cool. Right, got your missiles back online. Why you gotta keep your missile online? So close we able to shoot it down too with one of these. But just not off cooldown quick enough. Oh man. Oh, really? That sucks. Um damage isn't terrible it's just like it sucks on a ship that already feels weak like taking ship damage before a flagship doesn't feel great 61 scrap feels great though that's awesome there's chances that store stays up we'll be able to go repair in between phases which could be huge So this could be, this could be big scrap. Pretty disabling.
I love like completely broken and breached weapons. That's always nice. Fifty-four scrap. Hey, a repair. I'll take it. I'll totally take it. It's better than nothing. All right, so this is what we're working with for flagship. Um, there's a lot of stuff I want that we're not going to get, but that's all right. This is totally doable. I mean, that feels like a mandatory, definitely. Like I want a shields buffer, but that's like everything, man. Do I build into evasion after all this time? I gotta think about my power for a second too. My power situation sucks right now. It's not horrible, I guess. I gotta take a break from it before I do flagship. Um, so it'll just be like a quick minute to break and then we'll, we'll get to it. All right.
kind of think I go the shields buffer. Um, power is just like I got a micro. I mean, the, the worst things, you know, where power comes in, if they do a battery hack, it's kind of obnoxious for sure. Um, it's like really obnoxious. Or if they do a O2 hack, like a little bit. Hopefully they're really generous with the hack. That'll make my life so much easier. Um, I don't know. It's tricky because like shield, Shields 3, I always feel like Shields 3 is such a gamble. Sometimes Shields 3, it's like you don't even notice it. It's totally fine. Other times it's like, yeah, phase two, you're just like, you just get so much damage phase two from a bad drone surge or something. Because we're not like the fastest killing thing here either. Um, I don't think engines five is it the right choice. I mean, the cloak is the the next best one. I feel like. I think I buy shield buffer. I think this has a lot of value right now. This this setup. Like pilot and cloaking, I skip pilot buffer a lot. Um, I, I find it's it's usually all right. Um, cloak buffer is probably what I'm gonna get, like after phase one. I feel like that's probably the most likely upgrade I'd get is a cloak buffer. Um, but I feel like I can get away with that phase phase one. I don't know. I don't know what's best, honestly. It's hard to say. I'm not positive that was the best choice either. Um, I mean, I think it's also one of those things where <laughs> it's hard to know even after the fight what's the best choice because even if it looks like you made the right one, it doesn't mean, you know, make it lucky that it went that way. But. <sighs> Alright. Like, I definitely feel. I'm not sure what my chances are here. Like, I feel like the odds are you know, in my favor, but I, they don't feel like super guaranteed or anything. <laughs> Flagship is such a very, it's both such a consistent fight and such a variable fight. Battery, ah, oh, battery, battery, battery. Well, I guess whatever's staying here so I can mind control. So this is gonna really like test my micro here, I feel like this fight. this pipe swipe that might be a little weird. I'm trying to think of what makes the most sense.
me just think about this for a moment here. so close like because I was thinking like it's actually not far like this does a lot of damage just if we these all hit and I can make these all hit um but it's just like even if I hit all shields they'll still have one bubble if it and then this will be one damage short if it has to hit a shield bubble um, so I'm going to go more of what I was originally thinking. shields and then we can get we should be able to kill them before they cloak Looking at that's great. Awesome. Battery hack's probably gonna hit again soon. We just need to wait for this one to come up. Once that comes up, we can kill him with our volley. Oh yeah, took that down too. Jeez, I wasn't. I should pull. I talked about this was coming soon, and I was like, okay, where are my battery power is is all okay. But I forgot about the two extra power. That was a mistake a little bit. But that's okay. Zero damage, phase one. That's really good. Oh, and that really wasn't too bad with the micro or anything either. Um, I feel like my, my weapons are a little do a little higher damage than I was thinking. I mean, especially phase one where I can do like with between mind control and two damage to piloting, I can just guarantee the whole shots land at first. Probably. So that time, didn't matter what I, what I buffered. Didn't take damage. That works out. Uh, now, here. I always get this. I'm like, oh, this, the problem with this, doing this, is like I have, I have to micro actually even more this next phase against the combat drone um, if I'm going to run this low power. On the other hand, I really want cloaking buffer. Realistically, also like thinking about the level of micro that I'm gonna actually achieve. 
and how like phase three is going to extend out some. So I kind of think I need the power, honestly, more, more than I need anything else. Um, that's right. I can actually take a fight now. Can I even think about that? Because uh, I'm going to do kidnap strats. So yeah, I should have. Well, whatever. A power's fine. Yeah, the store is up. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to do anything at the store. Like even if I had that scrap, I can't imagine what I'd go there for. I, mean, I guess I can make an argument for not doing kidnap strats and just like having it happen faster so I can run back to the store or something. But, but yeah, I think we go here. I completely forgot that there's anything that could be happening. Investigate. Try to communicate peacefully. Nothing happens. Okay, that's cool. Just like a little vacation when my crew relax between the, like, fight to save the universe. Um, all right, everyone's where they're supposed to be. We're all filled up on oxygen. All right, so there's no one where it's like, okay, hopefully uh, this could be a really easy phase. It could be, I mean, it's phase two, I feel like. <laughs> the drones, if you, if you don't, like, kill them before the drone surge, and you can't just, like, cloak the drone surge guaranteed or something. Like, if you have to, to possibly tank a drone surge, you have no idea what kind of phase you're in for. Because it could be anything. Um. I didn't do that hack too early. I feel like this fight, at least so far, I mean, maybe phase three is the deadly one, isn't quite as bad as I thought, um, just because my volley is a little stronger than I thought. Like, you know, because pike beam, like, when you're, when pike beam is your beam, it's like your volley is never quite as great as you hope. Um, but double pike beam is a little bit different. Because it is kind of like a singular weapon in a way still. <laughs> We'll be able to save the cloak for drone surge, um, unless like something crazy happens, I guess. That's really good. <sighs> my damage. I'm trying to kill my mantis. Um. Have to wait for the pikes first. Beautiful. All right, that's great. So this is definitely getting them then. 
Well, I guess whatever. They have like a million crew right here. I hope one of them will die. All oh, right, 30 scrap. I know I can buy with 30 scrap. You can buy a cloaking buffer. Man, the store is still up. That's not, like, I don't think it's worth going there and repairing instead of buying a buffer, but it's kind of cool. But yeah, I mean, one damage for the first two phases is definitely better than I was thinking. It's also like, Sector 8 made me worry. It was like, oh man, did I make a mistake with these pike beams? Because like, all those fights were difficult for me to deal with. I mean, but it's like I didn't have Hacking 3 to begin with. And they're not flagship. Flagship just is different. It's a different kind of fight. You know, it's not like it has an Artemis and a Hermes and it's like this timing, that, you know. Or it's a very specific kind of fight. All right, so yeah, this is going good so far, but can't get ahead of ourselves. Phase three can always just be horrendous, but I think I'm able to pull this one out okay so far. We're gonna chase it, and we can run away if we have to. Ideally, we won't. They have a lot of crew, so the chances are better that we, we will. Eight crew, geez. Not really surprised that they have that many crew. Doesn't make me happy about it. That's good. Kind of med bay. Definitely more ideal situation. me running are still in this fight like so I kind of feel like I should just commit to it one way or the other I don't really want to do that though I don't want to just have to like commit one way or the other I think it's okay because I'm the one like well if I'm definitely running maybe I should cloak these and make sure I like keep my engines maxed but jeez Is that what that green is? 
Yes, okay. So it might still take some damage here because we're only 80%. And I had to, I let that one hit my shields just to like see what was up. Phew, that's lucky so far for sure. Um, and I think the shield's down to two, so we'll just hit it with one of the beams to guarantee it. Right? Well, I guess we don't mind ending the cloak early. Maybe not. Maybe we just hit it with a faster weapon. Taking out four of the crew so far, which is pretty good, I feel like. Instead, five damage ones. But I got a hit piloting. Just gotta do it. Um, their evasion's too high this phase. Just like one more volley and they're done. Um, the oxygen situation is like anywhere anymore. Nice, nice. 
I feel like this almost never actually times for me the way that it can, you know, where like it's doing right now, um, which is like perfect. I feel like I, I almost never have it actually work out. I mean, often it's because I make decisions that I know mess it up, but it's really nice to have it work out. Oh, they got everything repaired too, so it's 100% dodge even. Wow. Oh, oxygen warning, whatever. There we go, Rock A. Got a little spooky. I got. I don't know if I was overly worried before flagship, or I just got really, really lucky with the flagship fights. I feel like it's a little bit of both. I was probably a little more worried than uh, I should have been, but I also think it went pretty smooth. Um, so yeah, great. That's 95, Rock A. Man, so 11 ships through the cycle, not even halfway. And wow, 4581, nice. Ah, uh, just so close, Badger. You just mixed up the order of those numbers. Um, man, 36 ships defeated, 1384 scrap. But look how smooth that was at the end. Um, you know, whatever. Definitely, definitely low scrap run. Um, and I dove a tiny bit too. Uh, I feel like it was a some of most of that. I feel like came from. A number of sectors with early exits, you know, like mantis sectors, and I had like three sectors where the last two jumps were empty. It was like all my sectors that just ended all of a sudden. It's like, oh, I got a few jumps left, and they're all empty. Um, but yeah, so for bad ships left, all I have, I have Stealth C is really bad, and then the next worst ship is Rock B, and then it's like I have Fed A and Fed B and NGA and Kestrel C. And every other ship I have left is like above average at least. And it's like most of those ships aren't that bad either. It's really just like, really just Stealth C that's really bad. And then kind of like Rock B, Fed B, I guess. All right. Um, so I'll see what I got going on for the next run. I'm definitely feeling more and more optimistic about being able to get to a hundred and fourth cycle. So many bad ships out of the way. Oh, we already did you, NGB. We already did you, Zoltan C, also. We have not done Mantis A. We did Mantis B and Mantis C, which are uh, worse for win rate, I think. Mantis A is pretty solid. I feel like this is a kind of like the most middle ship, slightly above middle. Um, it's like not flashy at all, but it's got like all the tools you need to win around. Um, so that's great. I'm happy, happy enough about that. Nice medium ship. So what is it? Today's Friday. Um, I'm going to just chance I'll stream one of the days early weekend. I'm, I'm unsure about that this weekend. Um, I doubt it'll be tomorrow. So 